In this tutorial, we're going to look at adding audio to your scribe. So whether that be music or whether that be narration or both, you can add them. So if I go first of all to the music option, there is a royalty free library of music that you can use and it shows the duration of each of them. So if I pick one like this 46 second one, I can listen to it. I can change the volume here as well. If I don't like that one, I want to choose another one. I just select something else and it would appear and I can preview it. If I want to choose something of my own, I need to make sure I have the right to use it, but I can search for it as an MP3 file somewhere on my computer. Now there's a couple of options for music. And the one I use is something called Audioblox, it's, and it's a subscription-based service. It's not that expensive, and all of it is royalty-free music. And this is useful if you want to load something onto YouTube, uh, because there may, they occasionally may challenge YouTube may, may occasionally challenge, but then you can prove if you have a subscription that you can use it. So this actually makes life much easier for you if you're publishing a lot to YouTube. So you can find different music. That's pretty loud. Uh, there's the ability to choose genres and instruments and actually also specify I want something about 35 or 40 seconds long. You can also even choose loops as I was mentioning before, so things that will play over and over again. That sounds very exciting. So I find this is really useful. So I'm going to go back to um, Video Scribe again. So that's an option you have for music. Now in terms of narration, You've got a couple of options here as well. You can either record directly into this sort of little recording tool that they have here, or you can import your own MP3 sound files. So either you can maybe through Audacity record something, or you can also go into something like Fiverr.com, where you can pay $5 for 100 words or 200 words to be narrated, and you can search for the type of voice that you want, the gender that you want, the accent, all kinds of things. And once you've got that, if you bring it back into um, Audacity, you have the ability to do things like change the tempo. So if the person spoke too slowly or spoke too quickly, you can actually modify that. You can do fades and all kinds of things. So I find that Fiverr.com is a great way to be able to outsource your narration. And then when you're ready, you can just bring it back into, um, into VideoScribe. Now I'm going to show you in the next module how you can adjust your timings for your narration so that it matches the, the drawings that you're creating. But for now, basically, you have the option to narrate, to record and or use existing music or narrate or have someone record the narration for you as well. In the next module, as I mentioned, we're going to look at uh, more about writing the script, recording the script, and adjusting your timelines to match the, um, the audio and vice versa.